Well guys, we got a big package here. What do you guys think this is? This is uh, my new bed. Yep, brand new memory foam bed. Um, so I gotta move my bed into the storage room and then we're gonna set this thing up. Nice having a new bed though. Alright guys, so there it is, it's the new bed, and we just open it up and let it roll out, and we'll watch it expand. What do you think Keiko? What do you think buddy? Open the sucker up. Good stuff plastic man. I have to use an actual knife. <laughs> oh, <Holy> yeah. Figure out what's the top. I think this is the top.
actually, I'm starting to think the other side of the top. <laughs> Give it a sure. You stay down. Oh. Yeah, I can dig it. It's nice. There we have it guys, bed is all set up, got my sheets and my comforter and my pillows on the bed. Um, this pillow is a brand new pillow, I just got it, it's uh, pretty nice, nice and uh, soft. I got another pillow on the way. Um, it's going to be more firm and it's going to be thicker, like a 7 inch loft. It's what I prefer. Um, but it's also going to have the cutout for the shoulder because I'm a side sleeper. So I'm going to give that a try, see if I like it. I don't know. What's up, guys? What's going on? I am heading to work. Um, I got a job, I think, just uh, pretty much uh, what you call a, a swim job. Basically, I'm going under a Taco Bell because there's like a sewage leak under the Taco Bell or something and um, I gotta go clean it all up I guess they're gonna meet meet me there with a the pump truck and we're gonna pump it and I'll be under there guiding the hose and sucking everything up gotta take all their uh, it's like a vapor layer or whatever uh, that they have underneath that basically it's uh, on, sits on top of the dirt or whatever usually um, Got to take that out, and clean everything, clean everything up, take it out, and then put all new vapor layer. That's pretty much what I'm sent to do. Uh, doesn't sound like much fun. They call it a swim jump because you're pretty much swimming in it. 
Uh, but I got a, I got my new hip waders, guys. I guess it's a good thing I got them. So I'm putting them freaking things on. Hell yeah. And uh, you know, I'll probably put like a raincoat over the top of me to cover the top of me. And you know, wear gloves. I'll wear a fucking ski mask. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna wear a ski mask. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna be pretty much protected. It's gonna be good. <clears throat> it's all good. It's not gonna be great, but you know, it's gonna be better than it could be because now I got my waders. It's all good. It's all good, man. But check it out. It's really foggy out here today. Look at that fog, man. Oh yeah, I didn't mention um, uh, the new bed. I, I slept pretty good on that new bed. Um, it's a little bit more on the firm side, but I think like I need that. I feel like my spine stretched out a little bit overnight. Like, I feel a little taller today. <laughs> so maybe, maybe yeah, it's a good thing, but I feel like a little pain there too. I don't know. I think to like fully test it, like. I'm gonna need to sleep on it for like a week or so before I feel like any different. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll let you know if, uh, if it fixes my back or hurts it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it helps me, you know? <laughs> I spent money on it, you know? It's like uh, $300 or whatever, so, so hopefully it helps. Well, this bites, guys. I've been sitting here. Um, not moving for like 10 minutes. They closed the main road. I'm on a detour. Kind of looks like I'm moving now. This really sucks. Hey, we're moving again. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. This is a really bad crash, I guess, on uh, 161 in Graham. Um, I had to take this detour. And yeah, I was just sitting for at least 10 minutes i gotta pee i got that long commute to work almost to work but man i gotta pee oh uh, shit sucks anyway uh we're moving at least it's all good i let the guy know that i'm gonna be working with uh, i'm running behind because of this and uh you know i was already kind of behind because like i'm gonna call in at 6 30 today and so, you know, he probably expect me sooner, but he didn't know it was calling at 6.30. And so he was like, oh, are you here yet? I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I've got a long drive to go. But, you know, that, that's not on me at all. Like, you know, I, I woke up at 6. I got halfway ready. Uh, it takes an hour to get ready. Called in at 6.30. I was out the door at 7. So, like, I did good on my part, you know. If anybody says otherwise, I, I don't know what you know, what they think. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. The sun is coming out. The fog's going to break away. It's going to be just sunshine very soon. So, it's all good. It's funny, uh, uh, my call sign on the radio with my company is 33, right? So, I'll radio in and I'll be like, base to 33, you know, and then they respond, right? But there's this guy on the in the dispatch that he wants to correct me every time. He's like, it's it's 33 to base, not base to 33. And uh, everybody else, like more than half the people, say base to 33, but or well, their call sign. But nobody corrects them, right? And for some reason, it always corrects me. And I remember when I was taught it was base first, so they would hear your call sign. Because if I said 33 to base, they might not have caught it. But, you know, once you say you say base, then they're already, like, alert and try to listen, right? And then you say your number. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, I just thought it was funny. He's always trying to correct me. <laughs> I literally heard someone just after me say, uh, say base first, too. So, they didn't correct him. That's funny. <laughs> and then, uh... And then uh, somebody, okay, so one of the dispatch ladies said that, uh, asked uh, what somebody's ETA was to where they're going, and uh, he's, he said, like, a long time or whatever, and she's like, 
please hurry safely. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now, how are you going to hurry safely, man? I don't know. It's, it's not that safe to hurry. I hurry a lot, too. So I'd like to be more safer and uh, not hurry as much. That's for sure. It's, it's a lot nicer when you don't have a rush and you can just drive slow and don't care. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't never drive slow, but, you know, drive a reasonable speed and not care. I just heard a really cool story on the radio. Oh, there was this like varsity like high school football game or whatever and this quarterback got injured like his shoulder was injured and the backup came in and the backup was this girl named Brenna. A girl uh, acting as quarterback and uh, she uh, she threw a 30 yard touchdown and I guess that's like the first in, in history, first girl to throw uh, like a 30 yard touchdown in a varsity football game. I don't know if it's just like a touchdown in general or what, but it's pretty sweet. I'm sure it's gonna be a news story. If you guys wanna look it up, it's a girl named Brenna out of Fife High School. Fife, F-I-F-E, Fife Washington High School. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool story. I thought I'd share it with you guys. It's pretty neat. You know, uh, I bet you one day we're gonna see, uh, you know, women in the NFL, and even like women starting as quarterback. That'd be pretty darn cool. <laughs> There's some tough girls out there, man. There is. What's going on, guys? What's happening? Heading home. I'm off work. I'm actually almost home. It's 9 p.m. Uh, yeah, I was under Taco Bell all day and went through the crawl space and underneath the building all day just crawling around like this and um, shoulder hurts like a motherfucker uh, and let's see here yeah basically I was uh, pulling out because there was a bunch of leaks under the Taco Bell that we were working at and so I was pulling all these all these uh, long sheets of plastic out and they had like really heavy like sandbags on top of them so it was really hard and uh, there was like beams and stuff I was working around and lots and lots of cobwebs and spiders and stuff you know fun stuff but yeah that's what I was doing all day just pulling that stuff out uh, I don't know what told me to get uh, my chest waders on Sunday it's almost like I got uh, like some kind of a subconscious psychic ability or something I don't know but I knew to get those, right? And uh, yeah, they came in handy today. I stayed really dry uh, underneath them. And uh, let's see here. Um, what else? Oh, uh, this morning I didn't uh, pack a lunch. And uh, I was working at Taco Bell today. So they just gave me free lunch. I ordered like two uh, Burrito Supremes. And they're like, oh, you sure that's going to be enough? Why don't you get a third one? So I got I got three burrito supremes and a large soda and for free. It's not nice. That was really nice. So it's just crazy how things work out. It's like either either God's watching out for me or uh, I got some kind of subconscious psychic ability and uh, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, things worked out. My shoulder hurts though. My shoulder hurts a lot. My neck hurts, but my shoulder, my right shoulder really hurts. And um, I've got Papa Murphy's Pizza again. Because, uh, you know, it's late. I need to be in bed in 50 minutes. And I'm almost home. But it's like, you know, I don't have time to cook or do anything. I don't have time to prepare lunch. So I get that family size stuffed crust. Papa Murphy's Pizza, that's, you know, dinner, breakfast, lunch, done. You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm gonna get home, throw this in the oven, take a nice hot shower, eat it, and go to sleep. That's it. Uh, tomorrow, um, they forgot to text me what I had for work tomorrow, but then I went and talked to the dispatch guy, the nighttime dispatch guy, and he looked up in the computer, and it looks like they got a job where I'm backfilling some dirt, uh, you know, over a septic tank, probably, and uh, then after that, there's two different riser jobs, so, sounds, sounds good to me, uh, I didn't want to go into the Taco Bell again, 
you know, because damn, my shoulder hurts, and you know, I don't want to do another day of that, but you know, you never know, they might surprise me and be like, you know, move those other jobs and then let me a talk about. <laughs> I'm hoping not, but you know, if they do, well, then I'll just be tough and deal with it, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> but uh, yeah, tomorrow's. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We made it up uh, almost halfway through the week already. And uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Saturday. Saturday, I'm really excited. Uh, I guess it's my niece's birthday. I was invited to a party there. Uh, I'm going to try to do that, try to go there. But uh, I'm excited. I've been waiting like all year for the Logan Paul uh, versus KSI. Uh, rematch boxing match guys uh, the, the first one was in Manchester uh, in uh, the UK or whatever and now the second one is gonna be at the Staples Center that's this Saturday guys and you can watch it on the DAZN app that's D-A-Z-N DAZN I paid my subscription it's like $20 a month I paid, paid this month so I can watch this uh, it's gonna be a big deal. Yeah, it's the Staples Center. They're gonna be at the Staples Center. Logan Paul and KSI, and they're the main event. And on the undercard, they have pro boxers on the undercard. And um, yeah, it's gonna be no headgear and 10 ounce gloves. So it's boxing rules. It's gonna be freaking nuts. Um, I think somebody's gonna get knocked out. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be KSI is gonna get knocked out and Logan Paul's gonna knock him out Probably like in the first or second round. It's kind of what I think is gonna happen But uh, I guess we'll just find out You know I'll wait and see But I'm really hyped for this fight man um, I'm hoping Logan You know Does the job Gets it done Gets that knockout And then he's gonna try and uh you know, from there, maybe uh, advance his boxing career and fight, you know, other maybe professional boxers or something. I don't know. It's pretty crazy, though. You never know, man. Uh, you know, anybody can do anything if they put their mind to it. And uh, Logan's one of those guys where he he's trying to do a lot of things, man, and he puts his mind to these things, and, and he does it, you know? He just doesn't fail, man. He's a special dude. Um, he's got a lot of drive, too, you know? That's something I, I've, I've got drive, but, uh, you know, I'm not young like him. And, uh, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> Shit. But anyway, guys, I'm almost home, so uh, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, yeah. Uh, one more thing. I signed up for TikTok, guys, and I've uploaded some TikToks. So, you know, check me out. Search me up on TikTok. It's Commander Vlogs. Uh, I think it's Commander Space Vlogs. Uh, it could be Commander Vlogs altogether, but I think it's Commander Space Vlogs. So, just like just how this channel is, guys, uh, on TikTok. Commander Vlogs. So, search me up on TikTok. And give me that follow. I'd really appreciate it, guys. I'm going to keep uploading a lot. Um, I get a lot of views there. Uh, I've only uploaded five things. And I have five videos, like short videos. And I've already gotten, like, uh, over a thousand views on it. And that just happened yesterday. I literally uploaded all five yesterday and got, like, a thousand views. So, that's what I'm saying. It's, uh, TikTok is popping right now. It's easy to get views. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to capitalize on it. And uh, see if I can direct some of that audience over to YouTube as well. Uh, but you never know. Like, I could just blow up on TikTok. And TikTok could be, like, my main thing. You never know. But right now, guys, YouTube is my main thing. And it always has been. Um, so, it it take a lot. it take me, like, extremely blowing up on TikTok. Before, like, TikTok became that main thing. But you never know, man. You just never know. Um... I'm along for the ride, but you know, uh, no matter what, I like I like videoing. Uh, I like videoing myself. I like put myself out there, and uh, you know, just this is who I am. I like to be in behind the camera, you know. I mean, uh, in front of the camera, <laughs> behind it, in front of it, you know, all of that. 
Oh yeah. We're home guys and we're gonna throw this in the oven. See how dirty I got today. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I'm due for a shower, but yeah, we're gonna throw this in the oven and then yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. Oh well, yeah, I got my pillow guys. It's in this thin box. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a nice thick pillow. So let's get, get this sucker open real quick. There it is guys. I guess, uh, guess I got to put the cover on it. I think that's the cover there. But yeah, you can see it's got all those little holes in it. It was the pillow breeze. And then this spot right here is where it's cut out for my shoulder. So yeah, it's kind of an experiment. Never had a pillow where it had a shoulder cut out. But this is meant for people that are side sleepers. So we're going to give it a try. As you can see it already kind of got thicker. And then yeah, we'll put the pillowcase on it. And there it is guys. Hopefully it uh, will be nice and comfy. It feels good. I like the feel of it. Yeah. Nice support and soft at the same time. Hell yeah. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Uh what it feels like or how well I slept. I'm on my new bed. I slept uh, pretty good on the new bed last night. But now we got a new pillow and this is gonna be my pillow. The other pillow I got was for my girlfriend. For her side it's kind of like a you know lower loft not very thick. Uh, better for people to sleep on their back but I sleep on my side so I need a special pillow you know what I'm saying. Oh uh, yeah. What's up guys? What's going on? It is Wednesday. So I slept on that pillow last night. At first it was really kind of hard. Uh, I don't get why, but then uh kind of figured it out. I got to kind of lean lay on it like diagonal or something. And it's really comfortable if I do that. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just going to get used to it. I think it'll be fine. <sighs> but uh, yeah, heading to work. I already hit the coffee stand. I need my coffee. I guess I got a job where I'm uh, burying a septic tank and then I got uh, two riser jobs to install some risers. So, uh, shouldn't be too hard of a day. I'm gonna rock and roll. Check it out guys, the car in front of me. They have a spare rim on the back. It's not a tire, it's a spare rim. <laughs> now, that's some funny shit. What are you gonna do with a spare rim? <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, good news, I got my, I turned in my receipt for my, uh, chest waders, uh, bad news on that, they cover only 150, I thought they covered 200, but, you know, that's alright, I was asking for 182, that's what they cost, so 150's fine, I guess, you know, at least I, I get a, most of it, right? Thing is, though, you see my raincoat's gone to shit. I asked if I get another raincoat, and then one guy, one of the supervisors said, oh, uh, we take $50 out of your check, and I'm like, what, what, I ain't gonna pay nothing for, my, for another raincoat, you know, that's messed up, and then uh, I asked another boss, and he said 35 I'm still, I won't accept that, man, that's crazy, I don't know they're trying to take money out of my check, you know, it's basically something that they have to provide to me, you know, for safety and all that. And uh, when it gets all fucked up, there's no more reflectiveness to it. It's, you know, it's nasty, it's dirty. I don't look professional. And um, yeah, they want to charge me for it. So I'm just gonna roll with the, this dirty one, I guess. Like they put me on the swim job, they call it swim job, where you get all nasty underneath the place. You know, should, should be able to replace the stuff that gets damaged for free, right? Why should I have to pay for it? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I'm just gonna roll with it the way it is. That is what it is, y'all. People were telling me I could, like, you know, wash it, you know, put it in the washer and dryer. I don't have one of those. I don't have that luxury everybody else has. Um, you know, my landlord's not gonna wanna deal with this. It's way too nasty. She don't wanna put that in her washer and dryer. I can tell you that right now. <sighs> so I don't know. I just saw two kids, they're about seven or eight years old, walking themselves to school. I don't think that's right, you know? They could get they could get snatched or something. I don't understand why parents don't make them ride the bus or, you know, at least, you know, drive them to school then. 
you know. I wouldn't make my kid walk out here. Hell no. Back out here shoveling shit in the pad. I'm getting it nice and clean though. Hell yeah. One foggy ass day. Shit. Feeling hella burned out today too, man. I hope they let me home early. You know that the other day, the day before yesterday, I was 11 hours at Taco Bell, running around or crawling around in their crawl space underneath the building, and uh, ripping out plastic, working my ass off, using muscles I'm not used to using. And then yesterday, 11 hours of pretty much nothing but digging and installing risers. So. Today I'm just feeling it, man. I'm like, if they let me home early, I will not be mad. Damn. I was telling supervisor about it. He's like, I work 12 hours every day, five days a week. He's like, you work five days? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> What's well, funny though, like what I do compared to what a supervisor does, like I'm the low on the totem pole. I do the grunt work. I shovel. I, I'm out here busting my ass. It's kind of no comparison physically they mentally have to deal with more shit because you know they're dealing the paperwork and stuff but honestly i think i'd prefer that right now the way i'm feeling <sighs> but i'm gonna make it through god damn it <laughs> so damn tame that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, we're out here pumping septic and digging holes. <clears throat> all right, well, the pump truck driver got everything all pumped. Um, we backfilled. And now I'm trying to place these bricks and they're kind of a pain in the butt. Check it out. See how tight they were before? There's like no way I'm gonna make them that tight. I don't know how they even did that. <laughs> That's what I got going. Oof. Is what it is, I guess. Oh, there it is, guys. Finished product. I know it looks like crap, but I mean, what else can you do? I just, I can't make it fit like how, how that looks. That's insane. Whoever did that did a really good job, and uh, we're not professional landscapers over here and we're just supposed to pump out a septic and backfill and go so <laughs> I can't spend the time to make it like that so I did the best I could in a hurry <laughs> they have been like leftover bricks I couldn't make them all fit oh well the main thing I tried damn it but I'm gonna put a lot of notes in the summary here because I don't know if they're gonna complain about it or what but just let them know everything I did and troubles I had and the fact that some of them were already broken and you know got to write all, all that down in the notes so people know you know because it could come back you never know so that's why I want to be very detailed all right so I finished up there this place is uh, Fox Island it's by Gig Harbor and the next place I'm going is Gig Harbor um, gonna uh, help the pumper dig another septic tank up he's probably already there digging it so when i get there it's probably gonna be pretty easy um but then <clears throat> then after that i'm um, probably gonna take lunch uh, i know they they had a riser job on me uh earlier um some about doing risers in federal way which is really far away from here and i don't know if they're gonna make me do that or not i kind of want to get off early like 5 5 30 uh, you know so I can go meet up with my girlfriend after work but I don't know we'll see I'm going to just try to keep hustling and get shit done you know that's all you can do what's up guys what's going on it's Saturday feeling pretty tired from my week but at least we're kind of chilling I don't know I gotta get some propane for the house because we no more heat no more means of cooking so gotta get the propane and we're gonna do some grocery shopping, me and Tony and Keikoa. And there's the propane tank. And we got our channel locks. 
I'm gonna get this baby loaded in the car. Look, she's camouflaged with the wood. You matched the wood, crazy dog. <laughs> Got the propane tank all loaded up. <sighs> now I gotta get to me, get get me some caffeine, cause I'm tired and my back hurting. But that's all right. We're gonna try to chill after the groceries and the propane. I'm just gonna chill. I am making some decent paychecks and making some decent hours lately, so. Things have been good, you know? Anyway, I got a special rap song coming after this video, guys. So I'm probably gonna close this one off so it ain't too much to edit. But, uh, you know, smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, be on the ready for uh, a new rap music video. Um, I think you guys will like it. Uh, I'm gonna go hard though, like it's hardcore rap. So just to warn you. <laughs> Uh, might be some foul language. I might blimp it out. I don't know. I haven't decided. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like this one. And, uh, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share on your social media. If you would. Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. And uh, let your friends know about the commander. I appreciate it, y'all. Alright, y'all. Peace out. My heart is a what with my thoughts. And I don't know which side is better I try to connect all the dots